Are you searching for purpose of life? Discover your true identity. Stay tuned to Shalom World. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you for this this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord God, for the beauty of your creation. Um, thank you, Lord God, for all that you have gifted us, have given to us. Thank you for our families and for our loved ones. We just want to give you praise and, yeah, and honour, Lord God, for all that you do and all that you are. Thank you, Lord God, that you sent your only son, Jesus, yeah, to die on the cross for us and yeah, to be our Redeemer. I just want to thank you, Lord God, that we can begin this day with you. We want to entrust our lives into your hands. the book of Isaiah, chapter 43. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burnt, 
and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. You are precious in my eyes and honoured, and I love you. Fear not, for I am with you. is so beautiful because it teaches us about something about God, that even in the face of adversity and difficulty, when we're going through troubles, God will always be with us. God is faithful. God is good. I don't know about you, but sometimes I wake up in the morning and I don't always feel like praising God. I'd rather stay in bed. Sometimes, um, yeah, I feel maybe despondent or anxious or fearful. And it's hard to sort of see God's goodness throughout the day. Perhaps you're feeling that way today. But one thing I do know is that God is good, that God is faithful, that He wants to carry you through the trials. He wants to carry us through the tribulations. He wants to be with, with us, not just in the good times, but also the bad times. And here he says that not only will I be with you, but I will overcome that struggle and that trial with you. So when you pass through the waters, he's going to be there. And when you go through the rivers, they're not going to overwhelm you because he's there with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burnt or harmed because he is with you. It will not consume you because he is your God. He is our God, the God of the universe who created all things. A few years back, I was going through a real um, difficult time in my journey and I found that um, I, I felt that I was in this really dark tunnel and couldn't get out. Um, when people would pray with me, they would sort of get the same sort of image and they say, there's a, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, like just keep walking towards the light. But the light felt so far away, I didn't know like it just didn't feel like I could get there or I could reach it. In a way, it felt a little bit hopeless. I felt like I couldn't keep going. But I think the thing that helped me was knowing God's goodness in my life, knowing that God has been with me through all the different trials and struggles. And we see that in Scripture. We see that throughout the whole history of the Israelites. You know, they're going through, um, they're going through the wilderness. They're going through all these difficulties. Sometimes they're unfaithful. A lot of the times they're unfaithful. <laughs> You know, um, they, they need water, they need food. And what happens? God provides, God gives, God picks up the broken pieces and He brings them, brings them back together again. If we surrender to Him, if we allow Him to do that good. And so I think during that time in my life, as I was feeling like I was walking through this darkness, I think that, that knowledge of that God is good kept me going. And then I found that in walking through that, that difficulty, that God was actually doing something in my life. And um, I think the, the thing is, is that I look back now and I see that actually through that whole dark tunnel, that God was with me. He really was with me passing through the waters. He was with me um, overcoming the, the, the raging rivers. He was with me and um, protecting me through the fire. I wasn't consumed by the fire. I wasn't harmed by the fire because He was there covering me and, and taking care of me. And actually it was through that very adversity that I was able to overcome um, the thing that I thought I could never overcome because God was faithful, God was good.
keep on getting better you keep on getting better yeah keep on getting better you keep on getting better oh you keep on getting better keep on getting better you keep on getting better you keep on getting better every day lot you keep on getting better keep on getting better thank you jesus you keep on I just want to thank you, Lord God. Let's, yeah, let's give Him thanks right now. I just want to thank you, Lord God, for your love. And thank you, Lord, that yeah, even in our times of difficulty and adversity and struggle and trial, you are with us. That you use these things to help us to become holy, help us to become all that we're meant to be, help us to become the saints that we're called to be. I thank you, Jesus, that you, that I am never alone, that we are never alone. Thank you, Jesus, that you pick up the broken pieces of our lives and you put them back together again. Thank you, Lord God, that even when we don't feel like waking up in the morning, that you're pouring out your love upon us, that you're wanting to pour your goodness upon us. Lord, I just wanna pray this day that we would be able to surrender to your love, surrender to your goodness, that every day gets sweeter with you, Lord God. Every cross becomes sweeter with you, Lord God. Help us to know you, Lord God. Help us to know your love. Help us not to be afraid because you, the God of the universe, the God that created all things, all the things that we see, the visible and the invisible reality, you also created us with a plan of love. And you're a God that keeps your promises, that you want us to experience your love and your goodness and be with you forever. Help us to sing your praises this day, Lord. Help us to give you honour and glory. Help us to know that you are walking beside us. Amen. Shalom World brings to you the Catholic faith in all its different dimensions. It can be a faith to inspire you in, in your own living of your Catholic life in society. Shalom World offers you an opportunity of being rich and strengthened in your family life. We live in a culture that needs to have a Catholic presence. We live in a culture that needs to be evangelized by the presence of Catholic teaching and the inspiration to live according to our Catholic way of life. I recommend to you you're involved, to be involved in the work of Shalom World. May the Lord bless you and bless the work of Shalom World. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen.